Hey everyone, welcome back to Scorecard Collectibles. Dave here, and I'm so glad you could join me for a Mega Mail special where we will be cracking open some select best and fairest cards for this year. Now, of course, back in the day, these used to be an insert that you would pick up in Footy Stars packs, and then they moved to popping them in as a bonus in the albums that you would buy. But this year, they did something different where you could only buy them online through the Select website as a bonus if you bought your club's team album. Now, Scory's notifications from the Select Facebook page are kind of dodgy and I did not get a notification about these. I completely missed it. There was no email, so I had my hands empty. So I had to go and pick up a bunch on eBay. Now, of course, we've got the pies here, but I have also picked up a bunch of other players. I am a card collector. I like collecting cards. So I've got an array of different players that I really admire. So let's get these cracked open, see what we've got. And I think we're going to have a heap of fun. Okay, I've got quite a stack of mail. Uh, let's, I mean, let's pick this one first. I have no idea what we've got. Uh, this one's come from Top Class Cards. Oh, I've got a little pamphlet about Cole's insurance. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. I always love seeing what, how people package cards and what you get in them. Remember in the, the last Mega Mail special we did, we got a, a golf scorecard. Uh, this video is not sponsored by Cole's, by the way, if you were wondering. Scory hasn't done a sponsorship deal with Cole's. off and oh, there we go we've got a oh here we go we have Zach Merritt the red does suit the bombers the red and the black there what are we gonna pop this out it looks like oh oh that's number two I do not remember that okay wow I'm already bamboozled here so these are what the cards look like in detail I think they look really sick it's like a, almost like a dust storm over the MCG, like a twister. Very, very, very cool. Um, and of course, uh, Zach Merritt won the 2021 Crichton Medal for the Bombers. Yeah, that, that BNF in the middle sort of reminds me a little bit of last year's design, but then we've got all sorts of different other fancy shenanigans going on. And number two, uh, I completely forgot about that. Well, that's very, very, very cool. Zach Merritt for the Bombers. Let's pop him back in there. And we'll get this rip open. Will the Collingwood one pop out near the start or will we be waiting until the end? Interesting little envelope set up here. Oh, what have we got? Oh, we've got, that's the Footy Stars 2020 box. Remember that back then. Oh, goodness, that feels like a very long time. Very, very long time ago. I'm gonna to have to edit this down or else it's gonna be half an hour of me struggling to peel tape off. Well, let's pull this out. Oh, here we go. Pop you back in there. Sam Walsh, winner of the 2021 John Nichols Medal for Carlton. Very cool, one of the game's best young players, Sam Walsh. It's number 239, so these were numbered to, I believe, 250. Although interesting that it doesn't actually say that it's out of 250, but I do believe that was the uh, number that they were limited to. Uh, of course, he polled 30 votes in the Brownlow medal to run fourth uh, after leaving the Blues for disposals with 656. Incredible. Very, very cool. So two awesome players that we have and they look really nice together. So, so far we've got the Coles Insurance versus Footy Stars 2020. Um, I'm gonna have to go with Footy Stars at the moment. Sorry, Coles. Now, what do we got? This is fun. I love opening up mail. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> Free LEDs. Unlimited lights. Nice. She is very excited about her unlimited lights and free LEDs. Not really sure what's going on here with this advertising. 
<gasps> nice. Nice. Here we go. We've got Jack Crisp third. So middle, middle of the openings. Nice. Awesome. Jack Crisp 2021 Copeland Trophy. Oh, that is a sick looking card. Oh, what number was this? I don't remember. 27. That was his average disposals. So nice. The AFL's current consecutive games leader, 163 since late 2014, is now also a best and fairest winner after a comfortable victory in Collingwood's 2021 count. What an awesome player. What an awesome card. Oh, I love that so much. Look at that. What a trio. It is so cool. I love these cards. I think they're one of the nicest looking best and fairest we've had. So cool. Now, what else do we have? Who else have we picked up? Oh, got a plain white envelope. No LED ads, no, no coals and sh Oh, that, I spoke too soon. Oh, fancy, fancy. That's, that's the camera setup. There's me, hello. <laughs> Very shiny, very shiny. The gold, not so reflective. Okay, what's hiding in here? Okay. Let's open this. Oh, the winner of last year's Brownlow medal, Ollie Wines from Port Adelaide. That's awesome. We've got to have a little bit of non-Victorian team goodness in the uh, in the pack opening or the pack openings the mail mail special what an awesome player that's so cool nice and it's 156 so nothing very special about the number the powerhouse middle fielder dominating Port Adelaide's engine room with a career high 777 disposals at an average of better than 32 per match Wowie, wowie, what an absolute awesome player. Nice, Ollie, you can join the club. Here we go, we're adding to our best and fairest collection. Now, who do we have? This is from RGV. Very, very cool. I'm assuming that RGV are probably not going to put in Cole's, Cole's stuff. We'll cut this open. Here we go. Very, oh, we've got, we've got some base cards. They are from the 2020-21 cricket cards. We've got James Pattinson. We've got Jai Richardson. So they're the old cricket cards. That's very cool. I feel like I'm back in the summer doing uh, the cricket card openings. Peter Siddle. We've got Mitch Marsh and Turn this around, we've got Joe Richardson. We've got Ben McDermott and Talia McGrath. These are a nice little throwback to the old days. Not the old days, a year and a bit ago. But here we go, we have the 2021 Malcolm Blight medalist Rory Laird for the Adelaide Crows. We've just had the uh, port, now we've got the Crows. So a bit of a cross town rivalry going on here. Very nice. That's number 26. So Crisp was 27. Not that there's you know, anything particularly interesting about it. Just the numbers are next to each other. Um, but yes, Rory led ultra consistent ball winner who has made a seamless transition from rebounding defender to midfielder across the past two seasons has now won a best and fairest in each position by adding the Malcolm Blight medal, the 2021, to his 2018 success, led, led the Adelaide Crows for disposals, 704 and clearances, 150 last year, as well as laying a career high 130 tackles. Very awesome. And he's looking very focused in that picture. We have one parcel left 
I'm excited to see who it is, but I'm also excited to see how it's going to be packaged. Okay, we've got one of these. I feel bad just sort of cutting open these, but although if I, yeah, that's gonna take forever if I try to rip that off. Or is it? Uh, well, it's just gonna get ripped anyway. So let's just take the scissors, make sure the card's over there and see who the last player is going to be. Who do you think it will be? Let's have a look. Who is it? Oh, it's the doggies. Of course, we couldn't do an unboxing of best and fairest without having the bond here. Let's pop him out of his little team bag. And there you go, the Charles Sutton medalist for 2021. One of the absolute best. Marcus Bontempelli. Bont to you and me. 162. The superstar midfielder whose greatness was already assured before he claimed a fourth Western Bulldogs best and fairest in the space of six seasons in 2021. The club captain also finished runner-up in the Brownlow medal with a whopping 33 votes and was named an All-Australian for the fourth time, all before turning 26. Hmm. That makes me feel very lazy. <laughs> Bons and Pally booted a career high 31 goals in addition to a career best 695 disposals at almost 27 per outing. Bont, you are amazing. Join the team. We have our best and fairest winners from six different clubs here for our collection. We might put Jack at the top. Sorry. Sorry, Sam. Sorry, I'm very biased though. I think Selective really knocked it out of the park with these cards. I think their design is really specky. I think the background is really cool, but it also allows the player to really stand out and pop against that really sort of dusty background. And actually, I think it's a bit of a shame that we weren't able to collect these in the traditional way because I think they're such a great design. I wish that they were sort of a bit more accessible. Well, there you go. That is a selection of the really, really awesome 2021 best and fairest cards that came out earlier this year. I think the design is absolutely sick. I'm very happy to add a bunch of these to my card collection. Until next time, stay cool, take care. My name is Dave, this is Scorecard Collectibles, and I can't wait for you to join me next time.